This is gonna be weirder than usual. Can't be helped. You called me. So here I am. I know I shut you out sometimes. I'm always glad to hear from you. It's just that I get my hopes up. So many times it's led to nothing. I found nothing. It's like we live in a room and there's a poster on the wall. We stare at it and we think that's the whole world. The room. And the poster. The picture's something nice. A landscape, a famous person. Like in that movie, what is it called? The prison movie. The room's a cell and the picture, it's different. For each of us, it can be beautiful or terrible, but we're all transfixed. But it's all a lie, something to distract us from the truth. They're lying to us. We're lying to ourselves. The room's not the world. The world is much bigger and much stranger. There's a hole hidden behind that poster that leads to the real world. We all feel safe in that room. But sometimes, sometimes something crawls out from behind the poster. And the ones that see it happen freak out and try to forget what they saw. I'm here. Why did you bring me here? Hello? Anyone here? Federal Bureau of Control. All these years I've been looking for them and they were hiding in plain sight. Hello? Hey, excuse me. <laughs> there you are. You are here about the job. Janitor's assistant. You need to go to the interview. Go that way to the elevator. Thanks. Elevator that way. Got it. Very good. I'm Ahti, the janitor, by the way. You'll work for me. You can say I sent you. If they don't hire you, neither you are no hell of it. There be work for the axe. Take them behind the sauna, you out. I've done enough night shift loner jobs to know it makes us come off weird. Ati the janitor is a friendly face in my book. The cell and the poster. I was 11 years old the first time I saw behind the poster. They told me I imagined it. I've been trying to pull it down ever since. Will you help?
Did I lose you there for a moment? You know what's on my mind. My baby brother, Dylan. Seventeen years since the men of this bureau took him. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. You want me to pick it up? The murder weapon? Really? And there goes the poster. Objects of power can cause or be results of AWE's altered world events, intrusions upon the perceived reality. Now, the service weapon is, of course, a prime example of an OOP, a very powerful one. Ingrained in the Bureau's DNA, a key component in our prime candidate program. Come out of that Russian roulette a winner and you, <laughs> you're it. The same. Okay, now I have a gun. Hear that? It's the dead man. Right after the pyramid spoke to me, and it was just noise, and I understood every word. And this gun's alive. You know what? I'm happy. Happy to be here. Things have quieted down outside. Is it safe to go?
your enemy? All right, it's our enemy. That babble's contagious. It burrows in like an infuriating melody that makes you hum it over and over. the control point. <laughs> 